So this here is an amoeba. It's a single-celled protist which is currently being squeezed to death under my microscope. The pressure is simply too high. The cell split open and uh, spilled all of its contents. And here is the amoeba still living around her happily. Well, first of all, hello and welcome. Microbe hunter here. Well, yes, today I'm going to be applying a little bit of pressure on a couple of uh, the cells that are found under my microscope. Um, amoeba are single-celled uh, organisms, uh, water organisms that are able to change their shape uh, just like this one over here you're seeing it right now in time lapse and, and what they do is, is they move around changing their shape uh, and also engulfing um, other uh, microorganisms as a source of food and today what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to uh, yeah, squeeze it by really reducing the amount of water and this really presses uh, them down um, because the cover glass applies a lot of uh, yeah pressure here and what happens then is, is that uh, the cell will pop open and the contents are going to be spilled. Now, why am I doing that? Well, because I want to show you, well, how a cell pops open. It's as simple as that. And I have to tell you, I do not feel guilty about it. I don't feel bad about it. I have absolutely no ethical problems because those single-celled microbes do not have a nervous system. Um, they are not able to feel anything. They do not have any form of self-awareness. And while they might appear to behave intelligently, they are not. Yeah, here we go again. Uh, this is now the amoeba, which is uh, so squashed flat that essentially it already started to become round. Um, not in time lapse anymore. But what you can see here is, is that uh, essentially the cell's contents are now released uh, out into the medium and they're basically then, yeah. What happens with all of the contents? Well, this is now a food source for other microorganisms as well. So you see that in nature, everything is recycled, nothing is lost. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to quickly pause this the video for a second because I want to show you a couple of the things that the amoeba has actually eaten because there are a couple of interesting diatoms in there. So let me quickly pause here um, and uh, let's turn on the arrow. And uh, what you see over here, um, all of those uh, green little structures and oval structures that you see here, these are diatoms. Diatoms are, um, are algae. And you see also some diatoms outside here and in the surrounding medium. But the smaller ones, several smaller ones, uh, they, the, the amoeba has uh, devoured and eaten. Uh, and you notice that uh, these are indeed algae because of their green color because the chloroplasts are doing photosynthesis. So let's uh, continue to watch this a little bit. Um, and uh, the amoeba itself has a membrane, just like all cells, they have a cell membrane around it. And when the pressure is too high, then the cell membrane is not able to hold the cell together again. Um, and then it pops open and all of the contents um, are spilled out like we see over here. Now, uh, those amoeba can be quite easily grown um, by simply putting a, some organic material into a pond water sample, um, decomposing leaves, for example, um, and uh, then they will actually also break down uh, the organic substances. Um, and uh, what they do is, is uh, they will simply move around move around on the biofilm um, of, um, of the leaf that's being decomposed and all of the bacteria that are um, encountered there, they are being devoured and eaten up. And of course, uh, this makes sure that uh, the water is uh, kept clean and you see that the whole cycle um, of nutrient recycling is, is maintained. Yeah, here, here we go again. Look at this. Doesn't this look great? Okay. Well, um, what I would like uh, to encourage you to do is that if you um, actually ever put a water sample under the microscope, um, then attach a camera to it and then speed up uh, the video later on because those amoeba move a little bit slowly and can therefore be a little bit difficult to see and to observe because of the slow movement, they're kind of a very quickly overlooked because there are many more other microorganisms around that move much faster. Um, but uh, once you actually speed up the video, then you're able to see them, that they're changing the shape around. And then if you reduce the water by simply waiting for the water to evaporate from the microscope slide, well, this is then when you're able to see uh, things like this. By the way, this is also a very good way to actually slow down the movement of uh, some faster moving microorganisms like Paramecia, for example, um, simply by yeah, compressing them a little bit, um, they become even uh, better to be observed because um, otherwise they immediately move away and are lost outside of the field of view. Well, I'm going to leave it at that uh, for today. Here we go again. Here it's moving again around and you can also see some of uh, those uh, green um, diatoms that it has eaten. Yeah, but I think I'm just going to leave it at that uh, for today. I wish you all the best. Uh, happy microbe hunting as always and uh, yeah, see you around next time. Bye-bye.